challenging part of the job was um, ensuring that the facilities uh, met the standards and also managing the financial um, uh, financial aspects of the organization. Um, the toughest part was when we've had to close the schools because the contract for food services was not um, uh, uh, signed and we also, uh, when we were put on um, high risk and a third party had to be hired and our um, our f federal funds were withheld, then that was pretty tough. Uh, but for the most part, uh, it's the operations. Uh, the operations and uh, also managing the limited resources that we have uh, for the local, on the local side, the local uh, budget that we're, we're managing. But we also um, had some very, very um, exciting uh, accomplishments. Uh, over the past three years, uh, we have seen that uh, more of our students are staying in school, so our dropout rate has really uh, decreased significantly, and um, uh, subsequently our graduation rate has gone up to as much as 77 percent. At one time, our graduation rate as early as 2005 was only 56 percent, so that means that of the ninth graders who started four years earlier, only 56% were graduating at that time, four years later. So, so you know what, we were very uh, pleased with the um, uh, accomplishments we've uh, made. We also have updated our content standards and performance indicators. We have also um, uh, started the development of our criterion reference test that will be implemented fully next school year. So in terms of curriculum, I think we've uh, uh, made big strides. Now we're working on the facilities, and we're hoping that uh, we can use every cent of the ERA funding so that um, we can improve um, our uh, school facilities. Where do you see the department in the next five years? Uh, you're leaving yeah. at a time where right. uh, things are still being worked on, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you're leaving it in good hands. But mm -hmm. where do you see the department in the next five years? In the next five years, I see the department actually in a much better place where we are at right now. Uh, because we have been able to procure a new financial management information system. Um, we will have uh, a much um, transparent and more efficient um, uh, system for managing our finances. Uh, we will be far more transparent and uh, we will also improve our, the, the procurement division. And so uh, I believe that in five years um, we will have a school system in which we have kids that are running to school rather than running away from school. We will have um, professionals who will be well equipped and certified. We would have more certified teachers in the classroom and that's because we're investing millions of dollars in the professional development of our teachers and also our instructional leaders, our principals. So uh, I believe in five years we'll have more technology available to our students and um, the public schools will be in a much better place. Now obviously a one billion dollars or a blank check for DOE would probably help the department go a long way. Mm -hmm. But what do you see would be the biggest solution for DOE's major problem? I really believe that we do need to work on our management. Uh, you can have a billion dollars, but if you can't manage your funds, then um, the billion dollars will go real quick. Um, you also need to have the right people in place. Central office has been criticized to be um, really populated and that we're siphoning a lot of the funds that's supposed to go to the schools, the 41 schools. But um, in order to provide support to the 41 schools, you need to ensure that you have the adequate uh, resources, human resources, and competent individuals who can uh, provide the support, who can manage the finances, who can manage maintenance uh, of our facilities, and also manage the human resources. So management and funds have to go hand in hand. Now you leave at a time when the Guam Education Board has yet to select Mm -hmm. uh, the next superintendent. You are leaving it in good hands with mm -hmm. your deputy telling Ty to know in the interim. Um, what advice do you have, though, for the next superintendent? 
Well, um, for the next superintendent, this is based on what I have learned just as a um, uh, developing superintendent uh, of education. Um, I would uh, advise them to uh, remain calm, to um, be able to discern um, information from noise, because there's always going to be all kinds of information provided to you. And so you also have to be accountable to the public. But the main thing here is that when they make decisions, they have to put the students at the center of every decision making. And so whether it is to hire an employee or fire an employee, you always have to ask what would be the impact on those students uh, because the, the students are our mission. So that's my advice. I would say keep prayer in your life and uh, keep the students at the center of your decision making, but uh, keep God at the center of your life. Now you've obviously been in this job, you've been under a huge amount of scrutiny and received a lot of criticism mm -hmm. for the decisions that you've made yes. uh, and you've stood by all of your decisions. Uh, knowing all the criticism and everything that came with this job, if you had it all to do over again, would you do it again? Yeah, um, you know what, if I were to do this again, I most likely will do it again because if, if you have um, uh, commitment to the development of children, then you're always going to be willing to step up. But of course, you're asking me that at a time when I'm about to go into retirement, so it might be a little bit more premature. I do think that there are individuals that for a lifetime, students will be their mission. So whether they're uh, 56 years old or 65 years old, I think they're always going to find a way to, um, to support uh, children as they develop. And, and that's where I'm at. So maybe it might not be as a superintendent, but maybe I might be one of those who would be just a supporter for the public schools. What does the future hold for Dr. Nurse Underwood? <laughs> well, you know, people have been asking me that. And um, honestly, at this point, um, just rest. And then after the rest, and we can then determine <laughs> where she's going to go. But um, the future, I'll still be very active one way or another. It's just kind of hard right now to determine what I'll be doing. I just want to be able to take time and reflect and uh, support my husband and also my, my family. I miss them. I miss them quite a bit. And even though I have my husband by my side, but this job is 24-7. I want to be able to dedicate more time. All right. Well, we wish you all the best. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much, Mindy.